I just had a birthday. Yesterday, in fact. Um, and I'm kind of weird about my birthdays. I, I tend to think a lot about where I've been and potentially where I'm going. But I never think about where I currently am. And I think that's something that we need to, or that I need to, kind of explore in the future. So, I, you know, as, but, you know, that was the, that's the new me, let's say John 2.0. But um, going back to my birthday, I always think that I need to come up with the big, hairy, audacious goal and um, going into the next few years. Uh, I was wondering, like, where could I go from here and where, you know, what could I do and what should I strive for and, and things like that. And a lot of, a lot has happened in the last few years. Um, Not all that I'll get into at the moment, but I was thinking that it's almost that I've come 10 years (laughs) to the past and that I'm looking at 56 years staring really at 60 years, not too far from now, closer to 60 now that I am to 50 and thinking a little bit farther ahead than the, the normal, like next year by this time or two years by this time, I'm thinking, I'm looking at a new decade. I'm looking at 60 years and what could I do for my 60th birthday? And I started, uh, thinking about that a little bit. And as a Pete, over at the uh, Fat Man Chronicles put out there um, for this new project he has going on called the uh, the Fear Project that's going to be up and running here shortly. And, you know, what scares me? And it's still uh, the f- funny thing, and not, not funny, funny, ha-ha, but funny, sad, is that when we started podcasting, Andrew Weaver and I back in the day, the er- initial podcast was called Iron Man year one. And the reason for that was because we were going to take the next year and train for our first Iron Man and things being what they are. And, and, and as they happen, we had both ended up getting injured and other reasons, but we tended, we, we didn't, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Let's just be honest. It just didn't happen. And for whatever reason, um, so that kind of morphed into back of pack endurance and morphed into fast slow triathlete for a while and then eventually into endurance for everyone and which is where we're sitting but um even endurance for everyone after a while kind of i don't want to say it got stale because the the facebook group is really good and and the coaching is really good um so i'm not going to call it stale what i'm going to call it is almost like ran out of things to talk about that we hadn't already talked about so um, I put it on a hiatus back in April of this year, 2019, and kind of wanted to take some time to readjust and reassess and really figure out what I wanted to do going forward as far as the show, the group. Um, and that that brought me back, like I was saying, it brought me back to where I was 10 years ago or even back with Andrew is is that the iron man is still floating out there and i say i'm going to say iron man and let me let me um kind of I, I use the term iron man but what i'm talking about is a 140.6 race and there's a lot of fears that come to that there's not a it's not a fear of being able to train for it i think no i i don't even think i know i can train for it i know that i can swim 2.4 miles and i know that I can run a marathon. I've done it. I know I can do it. Um, and I know that I can ride a bike 112 miles. I've done it. I know I can do it. Um, I think the fear comes, well, there's always going to be a fear in the swim, but, and we'll discuss that in shows to come, but, um, it's not a fear of being able to do it. It's a fear of, Oh, it's, uh, this is something maybe I should go on Pete's show and talk about this. I don't know what it's a fear of. I don't know if it's a fear of drowning <laughs> I don't know if it's a fear of what it really is a fear of, but um, open water swimming has always been a bugaboo of mine. And even though I know I have the, the, I don't, not talent, but I know I have the ability to swim it and can do it and have done it. Um, 
for some reason being faced in a race um, kind of throws me and I need to get a hold of that. I need to get a hold of that. I think not just for the purpose of finishing a race, but the f- purpose of just living with myself, if that makes sense. So, um, so that's what I kind of landed on with the, the new BHAG, the big, hairy, audacious goal is to target a November 140.6, which is probably going to be Ironman, Florida in 2023 which would be right after i turned 60 uh gives me a long time to talk about it so i'm sure you're all excited about that but it's um what i want to do and and what i think i'm going to go for with this is kind of talking through the next four years and and seeing how I'm feeling as I goes through. I talked to Megan Fanning about it. Um, if you've listened to the show for any length of time, or if you're new to the show and new to the group, you've seen her in there. She was my coach for a while. I've talked to her about it. I've talked to Jennifer Coltrera about it. I've talked to uh, Karen Ness about it. Um, you know, Pete and, and Rob even. Um, just to see that I'm on the right track. Uh, do it methodically which should be easy for me. I'm an analyst for God's sakes. Um, but to put a plan in place and follow the plan through, um, Megan put it so elegantly as, uh, to me privately as, uh, you know, it's not the training I have an issue with. It's the mental issues. It's the going out maybe too hard and getting hurt. Um, I do have a history of getting hurt. But I do think that has a lot to do with my weight still. I've been battling this weight for years and years and years and years now. It's, um, it goes down, it comes back up, it goes down. It, it, it uh, kind of, it's hard to explain in this one show, but, you know, there's, there's medical history there. So I don't want it to seem like it's nothing because it is something. Um, and just, um, kind of talk through the next four years so my plan is as i said to maybe bring on other coaches um the actual initial thought for this new version of the endurance for everyone podcast was have a be a coach cast but i think that um and i don't want it to become a triathlon podcast like it kind of was for a while uh because there's you know, there's, as, as we all know, there's three disciplines in triathlon. So I wanted to be about swimming and I wanted to be about running and I wanted to be about cycling. And I do want it to be about nutrition and weight loss. And I want it to be about fears, even though that, um, Rob, not Rob, Pete has started this new project. Maybe I'll let him handle that side of it and kind of morph together on that part of it. But, um, try to talk this through i i'm i do know that i want to um not be the only one talking i'm not good at this by myself so i do want to bring people on again um i'm trying a new format i'm trying you know to try to do it just as a a talking podcast without all the uh, bells and whistles I'll, i'll call it and just be a forthright show so um that being said, I want to I want to you know welcome you to the Endurance for Everyone Iron Man at sixty podcast. This be episode one. Uh, if you want to join the group, Facebook, always a good one. You can get us at at Team E for E on Twitter and Instagram. Um, we're going to make a better effort at uh, being in other social media places other than Facebook. We are very active on Facebook. The podcast. Um, will be at fat slow triathlete show dot podbean dot com just like it always has been uh you'll see a new graphic there you'll see a new order of shows that'll start popping up again and um i do want to give a plug out once more to pete's group uh the uh the fear project um you can if you can't find that on facebook uh, you know get in touch with me and i'll link you over to it i think that's going to be a good little project to going forward about other than just physical activities is going to be a good project. So I hope we haven't lost 
a lot of listeners in the past five months since we've been gone. Um, make sure to check out the webpage, um, teame4e.com, or you can go to fatslowtriathlete.com. They'll get you to the same place. Uh, if you're in need of coaching, there's some new coaching rates out there. We've lowered them all. So um, the idea is to be on this journey together, and I know Andrew hates that term journey, but we're going on a journey together. It's going to be four years in the making. And I hope uh, you're willing to join with me. So until next time, this is John signing off.